Away, Captain.
Hey, thanks for watching Nicole's and my off-grid adventure here in the Canadian wilderness. I want to take a second to talk about the pizza oven we're building right now and I'm so excited to be cooking not only bread, cookies, foods cooked in the cast iron, but also of course pizza. And it's really fun for Nicole and I to have you guys come along and follow us on this adventure. We got a lot of direct messages on our other social media platforms, a lot of comments here on YouTube. And one of the messages and the comments we get quite often is, hey, can I come live with you? <laughs> or, hey, how do I do this myself? How do I live off the grid? How do I live a sustainable life and get back in touch with nature? How do I learn how to garden and take control of my own fitness? But I think a lot of people in today's world are hungering for something real. And what Nicole and I have chosen to video and document here on our YouTube channel is, you know, how we're trying to drink water, eat food, have fuel, travel, and live completely off the grid and sustainable where we don't have any monthly bills. And I wanted to answer those DMs by talking about an apprenticeship program we would like to launch here at Como Rebi. And we would like to have a person, maybe even a couple, come out and apprentice with us. We have eight acres here at Como Rebi and we're gonna be building a second yurt here coming up. And this person or these people would actually be helping us build that second yurt and then they would be living in it. We're gonna have a wood stove in it, a garden around it. It's gonna be on the acreage that's behind the camera over there. We've already begun putting away a wood stove and wood for this new yurt. And this apprentice will learn what Nicole and I do out here. And ultimately the goal is for them to be a steward of the land here as well, uh, make the second yurt their home. Um, we're looking for a long time applicant. And even though we have a lot of you watching from many countries across the world, we would like to kind of prioritize somebody who's already a Canadian citizen, just because there's a lot less paperwork for us to, um, to fill out and deal with since we're in Canada. So what I'm doing right now is down below in the video description, there's a link to another video on my other channel. Uh, which used to be called Vegan Athlete and now is called Off Grid Athlete. And you can go there and watch the full video and learn how to apply. Um, it's gonna be a video application process, so go check out that video. There'll probably be a card that'll pop up on the screen right now. And then a link to the rules of what you have to do to apply uh, down below at the video you'll see below this video. It's such a beautiful time of the year here. You know, you can just sense all the animals that are alive and walking around. Um, the bears are trying to stuff themselves before hibernation. The bugs have all gone away and uh, the weather is just it's just warm and comforting, a little chilly at night, and then the wood stove turns on. It's just real comfortable and cozy inside the yurt. And just love this environment, and I love this way of life. So it's been really fun to see that so many of you um, love this way of life as well, and you guys show us with your views and your comments, or maybe you just like to uh, tune in to watch Nicole and I suffer uh, for about a half an hour every week. Hey, looking forward to meeting all of you who apply to become the Como Rebbe Jake and Nicole Apprentice. Check out the video link below, and we're hoping to check out your application and meet you soon. It's pretty thick. Yeah. It's like five and a half, six inches of thick concrete. Yeah, that's what you wanted. Yeah. So when you are up on this high, 
This is still kind of low. So once the brick's up here, that's where you'll put the pizza and the bread. I think we got mm -hmm. yeah. to put pizza in. <laughs> How's the height? It's good. And then you're going to take this out when it dries a little bit more? I think now. You don't think it'll cave in? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> like... <gasps> you don't think it'll cave in? It's been four... I mean, like, this is day four. No, but it's been three and a half days. This is day four. I mean, like, like, look at this. You... Like, this is solid. And it's got rebar in it. I like, know, still... ten pieces of rebar. If it falls and caves in, it's not my fault. But I think that, like, a beautiful tile and then brick on top. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. So actually the pizza... <laughs> scared him. So actually the pizza will be like this high. Or bread or whatever. I'm excited for the uh, cast iron pot cooking in this thing. Like, we can bring the Dutch oven back out and really go for it, you know. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the. Bye, guys. Thanks for the approval. <laughs> Supervisor Nicole. How are you making out? How much? I'm good. This one's done. What do you think? Um, yeah.
To, uh, to find them. Yeah? Did you go in the small race bed or the big one? The big one. I found some pretty big ones. So. Nice. What do you think?
got done milling. <laughs> How many pieces of board? Nine, ten? Oh, a dozen, easily. So many. This is for the roof of the pizza oven. <sighs> Takes a lot out of you to mill so much. <laughs> Ugh. It's a pain in the buttocks, is what it is. <laughs> Okay, so huge rainstorm is coming, um, wind is coming, it's supposed to start raining in like an hour and then a huge storm. So we're trying to get this done before that, but we're, well actually we're done, so now we just gotta tarp everything and protect it from the rain. A storm is coming, ooh, so spooky. <laughs> If you guys have been following our vlog for a while when you guys saw us first build this uh, temporary garden with the boat in the back, uh, we brought in some compost to get the garden started and now we're creating our own compost. But the compost was in bags and um, it's locally made compost, biodynamic, super organic, but it's also in those plastic bags and I just didn't want to treat those plastic bags as single-use plastic. Nicole and I have been trying to not use plastic at all. So we've saved all the bags and we just thought maybe we'll find a use for them in the future and honestly I, I just couldn't think of what we were going to use them for. Well, I know what I'm going to use them for. I'm going to take all these plastic bags that used to have compost for the garden in it and I'm going to staple gun them to the top of the planks that we just milled and then I'm going to take the, uh, the cedar roof shingles that we repurposed from somebody that has a homestead nearby, had them in their truck for two years, and we took half the old cedar roof shingles and we put them in a pile over here and they're kindling. The other half were the biggest ones I thought still had life left in them and we're going to put them on top of the bags and so the bags are like the meat in a wood cedar sandwich, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, let's see if this uh, really insulates this pizza oven so that no rain ever gets in.